Hi friends, greeting from Anamo Laboratories Private Limited. Yet another video for your knowledge. You see, whenever you go to a pathology lab and give your blood sample to them, there are certain criteria which have to be met. Number one, you collect the blood directly into the tube which is to be given to the pathology lab. Not that you're collecting in the syringe first and then transferring it to the tube. So the tube supposed to collect the blood directly into and through a vacuum. That's why these tubes are called vacutainers. Number two, there are number of colors which are there in these tubes. These color codings are meant for whose blood is this? Secondly, what test it is to be performed out of this? Whether it is serum, whether it is plasma, whether it is whole blood, whether it is sodium citrate, so, internationally, there have been color codings decided about these. And let's try to understand what kind of tubes they are, what color coding it is, and how does it help in maintaining the same color coding in the mindset of the phlebotomist till the person who is doing the pathology test and reporting the results. Essentially, all these tubes are of eight different colors. Okay, now just let me show you all these eight colors and what are the functions and what chemical additives are there in that and how does it help in what kind of test they are meant for. So let's move in the direction. Okay, now here you see there are two colors. One is red color, one is a golden color. Red color tube has absolutely no additives. That means they are meant for collecting the blood, which are absolutely simple and allowed to clot on their own, giving you serum sample. Okay. The golden tube is a gel added into the tube, which helps in coagulation faster. That means moment you collect the blood in this tube and centrifuge it, you don't have to wait for the clotting time. It immediately gives you a serum separator and coagulation enhancer is there in that which gives you serum very fast okay so we have covered two type of tubes one is a plain no additive second one is serum separator tube okay you see now there are other two colors a light blue and the green light blue as it mentions it is sodium citrate which is an anticoagulant and this is giving you a whole blood collection. This whole blood is meant for doing prothrombin time, activated partial prothrombin time, that is what is called PT, APTT, etc. Okay, so whole blood is collected in a blue tube. And secondly, for biochemical analysis, there are certain times where you have a heparin, whether it's sodium salt or lithium salt, is added in a green color of test tube. And moment you have this, anticoagulant heparin added, it gives you a plasma. Okay, the moment you collect the blood in that, you go to the centrifugation. Clotting is not there in this tube. So what you collect after the centrifugation, cells at the bottom, plasma on the top. Now let's see other two colors. Okay, here you have a lavender and your gray top. Okay, these coatings are again meant for, lavender color is a simple ADTA tube. Okay. And gray color is sodium fluoride and potassium oxalate. Now, gray color ADTA tube is normally is used for serum separation. I'm sorry, plasma separation without uh, clotting to happen. Why plasma is important? It's another subject, but let me cover it fast. A serum separation normally takes a longer time for clotting to happen. Plasma is a easy and quick available for doing the testing. So ADTA tubes are preferred many times, which are lavender in the color. And the gray one, which you said is sodium fluoride. Now let me explain why sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride is a chemical which is anti-glycolytic in activity. That means whenever you collect the blood, <coughs> uh, RBCs in the blood tend to eat glucose for their survival. And the rate of glucose eating by the RBC is 7 milligram per cent per hour. 
that's important if you want to know the glucose value of a patient when your sample is collected by the time it reaches to the analysis table or analyzer if it is 3 hours 21 mg percent glucose will be down but if you collect in this sodium fluoride tubes or earlier they were called as fluoride bulbs they prevent glycolysis hence the glucose value is preserved in them and you get the true glucose value whenever your test is done okay let's see the other two colors yellow top and a pink top okay yellow top is acid citrate dextrose these kind of tubes are largely used for nucleic acid testing that is a dna etc and a pink top tube is normally used in blood banking where the whole blood is there because you have edta in that this is specially meant for doing a blood transfusion cross matching these kind of a blood samples go to a blood bank where they match the donor and receiver blood groups before the transfusion activity happens okay now what we have done is we have covered all the eight types of tubes these eight tubes are color coded being right from the phlebotomist to the transportation medium to the laboratory in charge and giving the right kind of a tube for right analyzer for right test and there is no sample mix up types and you get a true value of the analyte which is right sample is being used for okay apart from that hence these precautions are taken so you get accuracy in the results and since these color codings are there very clear cut they add to the patient safety that there is no mix up in the sample there is no wrong sample identification is clear patient id patient sample type patient test which is performed is all under one single uh, harmonious color system which is followed world over okay now blood collection tubes as we know it very clearly there are three purposes for which the blood collection is being done one is for the diagnosis one is for the monitoring of the disease when there is a treatment going on and the third is samples which are meant for doing a research in the uh, research laboratory or cro and uh, the data is being published for the right sample for doing a drug testing etc etc okay so what is the key undertaking from this entire episode is that importance of the tube is extremely critical to prevent the wrong sample reaching wrong identification of sample reaching to the patient's testing laboratory i hope this video has been useful to you thank you very much